Space. Infinite. Mysterious. Dark. Who knows what strange and bizarre beings share it with us, or when they reach... Can you hurry it up? It's really, really cold down here. Uh, okay, um, I'm sorry. UFOs, man, do they exist? Who knows, it's such a big universe out there, chances are we're probably not alone, right? But the thing is, are creatures from outer space visiting us? That is the question, my friend. I have no idea, but I know someone that might have a bit of an idea. So as soon as morning comes, we'll go and visit him. We're here. This is Unicus, a shop in Dunedin that specializes in UFO and alien stuff. The guy who runs it, Sam Sharp, knows all there is to know about aliens and UFOs, so he's our man. Let's see if he's around. Is Sam Sharp? Maybe. Who wants to know? Um, I'm Dean from Get Real. I was wondering if I could talk to you about some UFOs. Yeah. Okay, you better come in. Make sure nobody followed you. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Sam, so can you tell me about UFOs, man? Um, so, Sam, tell me about your shop. What do you want to know? Well, I want to know why you've got a UFO shop. Well, the, uh, the space came available um, last year, and it was going to be a second-hand shop, but I thought... You know, a bit boring. Dean's got a few of them. I thought, what better to go into than something I'm interested in? These are what aliens look like, you reckon? They're what a lot of the sightings are reported as, but then again, there are 80 different reported races that, that a lot of people have, have come across. You've got praying mantis beings, greys, palladiums, the list goes on and on. Excellent. Well, why don't you show us around? Sure. Come cool. On. Thank you. This shop's actually very cool. It's got all sorts of alien stuff, anything you could ever want if you're into aliens. Here, look. At least we know where Elvis is, and I thought he was working in a dairy in Invercargill. Alien frisbees? Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, mate. What's going on here, Sam? <laughs> it's just a little side project. <laughs> Seems a bit harsh to me. <laughs> wow, cool. Sam, mate, what planet is this from? No, we actually make them here ourselves. Oh, so it's not real? No, not quite, no. And people actually buy these? Yeah, yeah, they're really popular. Now, those in the know about aliens talk about sightings as close encounters. Now, there's close encounters of the first kind, close encounters of the second kind, and close encounters of the third kind. But get this, all three have been reported as happening in New Zealand. <laughs> a close encounter of the first kind is when you see a UFO from less than 200 metres away. In 1968, in Havelock North, a teacher and her whole class saw a UFO like this in broad daylight. Well, I guess some people will say anything to get off school for the afternoon, right? A close encounter of the second kind is when you see physical evidence that a UFO has been around. A person sent Sam photos of this mysterious crater in central Otago. It's almost perfectly round and the sides are made of strangely formed rock. Now, some people swear that this is alien stuff. Other people say it's completely natural. I'll let you be the judge. Close encounters of the third kind are when you see actual aliens, just like the movie. In Whangamata in 1969, a couple claimed they were chased along the beach by strange gliding figures like these. Don't know about this one, eh? Looks to me like it might have been aliens playing 10-pin bowling on the beach. All right, Sam, nice stories, but what hard facts are there that aliens are visiting from outer space? Well, in 1978, the most well-documented case in the world was uh, filmed over Kaikoura. UFOs were seen on radar, and then they sent a plane up which um, filmed the event. Wow, that's not bad. So, what about yourself? You obviously believe that we are being visited from outer space. Until I actually see something really dramatic myself, I won't be a 100% believer, but... Yeah, 90%. You have seen some things though, right? I've seen a couple of UFOs myself, some things that can't be explained. 
Right, yeah. and you know people that have seen them as well. Mm. My parents, for example, in yeah. Stonehenge in England on their honeymoon saw a, saw a strange craft. I'll let you be the judge, but for me, UFOs, until I see something, can't quite believe. But thanks so much for having us here, no eh? Problem. Great shop, and uh, good to see you. Cool. Well, I'll uh, see you guys later then. Outpost to mothership. Despite all the evidence, humans still refuse to believe in us. Mission accomplished. Take us up.